Throw it back. Just a tap on the wall. And we're able to run the wing on the wall. There we go. What's up everybody and welcome back here to Torque Drift here on Monday. We're here today to take a look at that S15 that I have been teasing and a lot of you guys have seen on the track already because we have been running it to try to get its Drift King level 2 so that I can get a custom motor because right now, unfortunately, I'm outpowering my car. We are running about 890 some horsepower. We are running a stroked LS1 with a supercharger. And that is what we're running. It's full, basically full pro parts. Running that uh, supercharger at 12 psi. Unfortunately, it's uh, a little overpower for the engine. So I'm waiting to get to Drift King level two so that I can get a custom LS or rebuilt LS. So unfortunately, the car is not up there because I haven't used it as much. So we're trying to race it and get up to Drift King level two so that we can buy that engine. But as for everything else on this S15, we are running our angle kit, 65 degrees, four and a half degrees of camber, caster seven and tow at, you know, negative one or negative half. As for suspension in the front, we are rocking 11 and 12 for our suspension. We are rocking that custom new body kit that looks amazing. And as for the rear for my gearing, we're running 80%. We're running a 3.98 when it comes to the uh, final drive. As for angle kit in the rear, we're running negative one degree of camber and uh, 1 16th of tow. And for suspension in the rear, we are running 11 and eight. So I actually should probably stiffen it up a smidge, maybe to 10 get the tire out of the uh, thing it, it, it is gripped very well so we're gonna try it on 10 and see we are running um, pro tires in the rear and we're running um, custom tires in the front we are running custom alloys and we're running them at tens in the front I believe tens in the rear with a 35 profile tire so it handles very well it's doing what it does at 890 horsepower just wanted to get it up a little more because like I said we are exceeding the power of this but so the update on this it is going to be a supercharged LS we're going to be running the LS motor we only have three hours to try and get pro level two so we're going to go run some tandems with it here today and just get a feel of the car so you guys can see it there is a tournament at the yard which I don't know if we're going to be able to get into we can try the yard jump we can try and get in and see if there's anybody available to run a tournament with our S15. Get a quick practice run while we're waiting, five of eight. Wonder if we'll be able to get anybody in here. So the final drive makes the car very nice when it comes to starting. It doesn't spin the tires too much after you do a quick e-brake grab at start to rip up the rear end. The power is there, it has a decent amount of power for what it does and the grip levels are pretty good. I Definitely, uh, the suspension change did make a little bit of a difference, but it does feel good. Just a simple blue livery, nothing uh, nothing crazy on it right now. Going to be doing a full livery update on it here very shortly. But it doesn't look like we're going to get into this tournament with only like seven minutes remaining. So we're just going to hop into Long Beach and try and get some tandems at Long Beach with our S15. I know a lot of people have been asking, so this is what we're running right now, 867 horsepower. Going to be putting a bigger LS in there after I'm able to get up there. It looks like we're going against uh, FD Pro Car L. Collendale. Going to get in the fourth gear. Definitely likes fourth gear settle. A little quick, quick tap of the e-brake, and it grips up. This is probably a little bit sooner than I needed to. Bring it out. Bring it out to the wall. Would have liked to have been closer out to that wall. But so far, so good. Don't smack that wall and lose all our points. A decent lead run for the start of this episode with the S15. And we're going to be going against somebody that got a little bit better of a lead run. But maybe we can get him better in the chase. 
Hal Condell's S14 is a fun car to drive. And it, it definitely got me on the start. I probably should have started lower gears for quicker acceleration. I have to cut this line, try and gain some proximity. Oh. So I want to know how many of you guys watched FD? Watch the St. Louis FD. What do you guys think about it? Do you guys think there was some iffy calls at the last turn where they said drivers slowed down when they shouldn't have slowed down and stuff like that? I feel like there was uh, definitely some interesting calls for the track being a new track. Um, some of the calls I was not too fond about. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on the FD weekend and the new track. Pro 2, Adam LZ getting uh, kind of knocked out and getting a little too aggressive on his chase in top 16 so unfortunately he got knocked out right away but he did get top qualifier so we get some points for that and some points for being in 16 this is a much better lead run than the first one so throwing in some more points there it was better off starting in second gear and running up the gears so we are going to take a better lead on this one so the car handles very well it's uh very grippy when i need it to be and very floaty when i need it to be floaty and it it does what i want it to do but you got a bit a better acceleration going through the gears. So we're a little bit closer than we were last time. We're able to uh, get those all important tandem points. Almost overshooting into him. Oh, and he smacked that wall hard on that last turn. So I believe we're going to take that win. So it looks like it's one and one for him and I. And we're gonna go for a rematch. Hopefully we can take the two to one. Two to one win with our S15. So are you guys enjoying the new content that Torque Trip has brought out with the GTR and everything? Like I still haven't gotten my GTR yet. So I haven't started working on that car yet. Probably will be doing that hopefully soon. Got SSR qualifying this week for round four at Homestead. That is going down Wednesday, so look for some SSR content coming this week. And another much higher increased lead run there in the 130s. Or 130, 135. Okay. So now we got to hopefully keep up with him on acceleration. We're going to try going in third. Because that seems to be our downfalls. We're not as close as we need to be to him. And he's able to get much better of a chase score because he's able to be a lot closer to us and he's probably going to take this because unfortunately I was not able to keep the acceleration with that FD car. These car FD cars very quick on Excel sometimes so if I gripped your tires in the rear probably would have been accelerated faster but unfortunately I didn't want to do that and we did take the loss so unfortunately we're going to back out of there. Man took me two for one so good on him. We're going to go back and see what tracks we can do elsewhere with this car. The yard is about to end applying updates. Well, that's a, that's a, that was a little late. So we're going to go take the jump section with the S15 and see. So what kind of livery do you guys want to see for this S15? I know you guys probably want to see a time-lapse livery bit, uh, paint, which I'm going to do with the S15. Haven't said what I'm going to do yet, but I will be doing a full livery on this car thinking I might do something a little more aggressive than I normally do maybe a uh, more layers and stuff like that because normally I do some simple but clean liveries I think this time we're gonna go do an all-out livery on the s15 because I'm definitely loving this car and how it handles the fourth see if we can uh, initiate nice and hard on the jump we just missed that unfortunately but we're gonna Keep these. Almost losing it on that wall. Oh my goodness. I am cheating. Cheating death with these walls. And getting right on these walls. And getting all the wall drag points. So that was a very solid high points run here. On the jump section I think. So myself. 118 to 68. Yeah that was a, a very aggressive flick on that wall did not think I was gonna come out of that alive but we're going up against this S13 so we can try and get a nice nice tandem 
Jumping in, just a little bump on the back bumper. Kind of like all the drivers in uh, St. Louis this weekend. But like I said, let me know your guys' thoughts on the new track in St. Louis. The calls that were made about Vincek and Dean, Chris Forsberg, and you know, unfortunately, Matt Fields unable to fix his car and unable to compete, you know, in the grade eight, which was unfortunate. His crew worked very well and almost had it, you know, but it was unfortunate he didn't have enough time after Chelsea hit him. So we did take the win there. We're gonna run the jump section one more time because that was a lot of fun. I personally enjoyed uh, St. Louis and made the made it very uh, interesting to watch, and all the uh, contact and stuff like that made it kind of fun to watch the uh, event. So James Dean taking the win, you know, Peter Vincek third, Osbo breaking a shifter on the last last lap. Looks like we're going against a uh, Falcon Tires liveried S14. Let's see what we can pull off here and hopefully we can pull off a solid win. I will be doing some Torque Drift live streams here very soon, but with SSR qualifying this Wednesday, uh, I will not be doing one this Wednesday because I need to focus on getting my qualifying runs done on Wednesday and get some practice and everything in. Uh, a little bit off those clips. Get my practice in and my 370 and uh, get my uh, competition nerves out of out of the way so that I can throw down a solid qualifying run and get into the tandem battles for this weekend. So a solid lead, 110 to a 64. Car handles the jump section very well and I'm actually uh, quite happy with how this thing handles. A little bit of a frame glitch lag there but we're still good. My phone is probably pretty warm and low on battery, been out most of the day. A little bit further than I want to be, but a very safe chase. Oh, I did not see that coming. I didn't see him smacking that wall. I thought he was going to make it. That explains why he only had 60 some thousand points so we'll take the W on that one as well definitely enjoying this jump track I know I said that a few times but uh we're we're throwing in some solid runs here for today make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter big thank you to all the people that have been supporting the evil rabbit logo in the game and everything like that I've been saving all these pictures and uh, I'm going to be doing some shout outs in the beginning of some uh, um, torch drift videos of some liveries that I see with the logos on it from forums and that I go against and stuff like that. So I do take some screenshots of people that are rocking the Evil Rabbit livery. Going to do some uh, basically shout outs and show the liveries up in some torch drift videos and stuff like that in the beginning. So if you guys are rocking the logo and I see you on track, you probably will get a chance to have your car shown on the channel something I've been working to try and do so give you guys a little bit of uh, some screen time of you guys rocking the evil rabbit logo that was an aggressive entry way off the clip but I will take the aggressive entry the Sajra way back up for only having 800 and some horsepower this car does business and I love how it sits with the power and how it handles kind of running right there massaging it to that wall and definitely super dialed suspension setup for me right now. My driving style, it helps. 128 to 75. So we are going to chase this man down. Very aggressive E46 livery. I, I do like the E46 livery. So now a little bit further behind. Oh wow, kind of just jumped into him. He, he went over that a little bit slower than I thought he was going to. I'm wondering where he makes a mistake because he, he's very flowy right now. I'm wondering if where he's going to smack the wall. Or maybe he's just a little bit off the clips. Or he tried to massage himself up, maybe? Well, a nice solid chase for the... Oh, smack the wall at the end, though. He's got that field suspension sponsorship. Definitely still working to try and get those. So 158 to 95. We're going to do one more here to end this episode off. 
So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I appreciate all the support from you guys and all the comments. Coming back for these torture videos and the Forza videos. Like I said, SSR qualifying is this week. SSR competition is this weekend. So look for some SSR Forza content and practice and stuff like that coming this week. And as well, more torture videos as well. Going to be doing some new builds, some new uh, livery time lapses for you guys. Like I said, what kind of livery do you guys want to see on the S15? Taking ideas. All right, final run here at the jump section here for today's episode. Almost taking out those wall clips again, a little bit wider than I wanted to. A little bit off that front clip, but we will be able to make it up. Throw it up, massage it up to the wall. Look it out, there we go. Hang it out there a little bit. Throw it back, just a tap on the wall. And we're able to run the wing on the wall. There we go. Running that wing and just before the line is, whew, I thought we were gonna smack just before the line, but we did 125 to 99. So we got a battle to chase now. We got a good lead. We're gonna try and throw on a solid chase at 346. A lot of people run E46s now. They're definitely a very solid chassis in this game. Ooh, nice hard flick entry in there. It's kind of able to stay with him. Shot that a little bit shorter than I thought he was going to, so we're going to have to cut this angle. Try and gain some proximity. Ah, oh, I overshot it. I overshot him, but I still think we'll be able to take the win here for the final episode. So as always, like thank you guys for coming back and watching. I do appreciate all the support. And as always, I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.